G'day guys, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and welcome to episode 11 of Nanobytes. As per normal, if you have any suggestions of things you would like us to talk about, please bang them in, in the comments below. And if you've not watched this series before, basically it's a two or three minute conversation about one basic topic within the aquarium hobby. Today we're going to talk about how we clean out our filtration. So a lot of people when they first get into uh, fish keeping, when they clean out their filter, they'll get the hose or they'll get their tap or whatever and they'll just squirt water all over it, clean it out, chuck it and away they go. Uh, I've even heard of people when we're running the shop that uh, use boiling water on their filter media. These are all really, really bad ideas. If you're doing this, you're basically blowing away all of the beneficial bacteria, which is what you want in your filter. So the best option to do when you're cleaning out your filter is to get a bucket of the tank water that you're cleaning out, right from the one behind me, and get a bucket of that, get your filtration media, and sort of rinse it out in that. Things like your bio noodles, you hardly ever have to touch them. I was doing them probably once a year when I was running canister filters, and I literally just get the basket of the canister, drop it in the bucket, get all the sort of sediment out, and then put it back in the canister. It was that simple. Uh, things like when you're using the foam, same thing, get the bucket and just rinse it down through there, squeeze it out, get all the mold and all the muck out of it, and then tip that bucket on the garden. Your garden will absolutely appreciate it. Something else to take into consideration, particularly with canister filters, you've cleaned it out, you've cleaned it out with the bucket of water, and then you go fill it up with fresh tap water, you're going to have a few issues as well. So once you fill up your canister, fill it up with tank water again, hook it up, get it going. Uh, as a recommendation, any time that I do any work on any filters, I always add some product like Stability or Nutrifin Cycle or something along those lines. Um, something that's going to add beneficial bacteria back into it because your filter has been disturbed and you would have knocked out some of the bacteria that's within it. So there we go. This is how we should clean out our filters according to me. Alright guys, have a good one. Happy fish keeping and catch you later.